in the Bronx. Right. It was absolutely unconscionable that we do not. What's that? What's that? <laughs> I'm not sure what you can do with that. Move. That's uh, occupied. That's bad. Okay. Let, me, let me start over. Occupy Wall Street. <laughs> okay, we'll take it from. It is absolutely unconscionable that the city of New York does not have shelters in Queens and the Bronx. What were they thinking? Over two million people in each of these boroughs with no shelter that you lose your dog or cat in Queens or the Bronx, then he goes to a neighboring borough to get an immediate disease upon their arrival, and then to be slaughtered within three days. Hey. What is going on? Hey. Absolute madness. Hey. And you know something? We're on Facebook all the time, uh, lamenting this situation, the slaughter, the, the, the pain and the suffering that we go through for years now. Uh, uh, friends, Apollo, we've been cross-posting together over three years now. We, 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 we suffer and, and see these babies get killed. I remember on June 11th of, of 2011 that they had a board meeting. Uh, we had, uh, it was a really famous day, if anybody recalls. Uh, we had, I made the board meeting into a protest. I had over 100 people show up and um, Hello, so okay. I had over 100 people show up with signs, and they didn't have enough room for us. Uh, I was called by uh, a Mayor's Alliance Rescue, who was uh, actually laughing. She said, Kay, you made the board meeting into a protest? Woo! I said, and an event page? I said, I sure did. And I made a very famous speech that day, where I promised the executive board that we would get a thousand people together in the Bronx and a thousand people together in Queens and that is exactly what we are setting out to do. What an army of us. We set out to the people. You know, when I go out to the people, I say, do you know that you don't have a shelter here? They say, but don't, isn't there one on uh, Queens Boulevard? Isn't there one on Fordham Road? I said, no, that's just a receiving center. What they did, they have these receivings and they take a dog there or a cat and they ship them, you know, to those other locations. Uh, it is a tragedy. I get calls from Georgia, okay, that uh, uh, a call from Georgia that they say to me, do you believe that we don't have a shelter in this county? And should we be talking about a county with like 25,000 people? I'll be like, yes, I can believe you don't have a shelter because we have over 2 million people in Queens and the Bronx. Uh, we have got to do something about this. There's no one else doing it, by the way. There is no other group that, like ours, that has set out to go out to the streets of New York City and inform the citizens that we need to rise up. This is a very basic animal rights concept where we rise up against our government and say, enough is Woo! enough. Next spring, uh, we will take a whole year so that each one of us could amass a following of 100, or 200, or 500 people. That each one of us will bring those people to the march, to City Hall, to tell the incoming mayor that we will not tolerate the killing of our cats and dogs any longer. who oversaw the passage of 0655-059. She was the Speaker of the House, and she told a city council, pass this bill. We're just, all we're doing is legislating a win in court. And we already won it in court. And you know what? There really isn't a constituency in New York City that cares about cats and dogs. The count, you can't blame an elected official for Voting for or against the bill, they don't feel the constituency cares. So guess who was paying attention? We were. We were paying attention that 46 out of 50 council people 
voted for this bill, that they would not build shelters. That was two years ago. That's when we really, really rose up in our group. Got oh, almost 8,000 people on our group page that we could share and cross post the idea that we would have a revolution in New York City against the killing of our cats and dogs. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. Uh, I am so honored uh, to have you all here. Uh, we have people that are talented, that can voice themselves uh, through singing, uh, their despair and their anguish. We have people that will be speaking, that will be moving, that will change even our lives to another level that even we are not at. When we get together, which, which is what a rally is, we rally the people together time after time after time to bring ourselves to the consciousness that we must have revolution in New York City. Please get something to eat.